Just as predicted, Bitcoin is taking a little break here, but meanwhile, leverage ratios are increasing dramatically and so is open interest. So I'm gonna give you my playbook that I'm going to deploy over the next few weeks to make sure that I end up on the best side of this Q4 face melt. And honestly, over the next eight to 12 weeks, I believe that anyone who's playing this game right will probably be able to experience a transformative moment for their own finances, or depending on where you are in the game, just massively multiply your stacks. That's that's what I believe could be wrong. Let's find out exactly where I'm basing this hypothesis on in this video. It's gonna be stacked with value. You're definitely gonna to wanna to see this detailed walkthrough. So make sure you smash that like button, watch this front to back. And remember, if you wanna make outsized gains in cryptos, and of course, the new opportunities that are the hardest to understand, but have the absolute most transformative effect, the biggest gains to be had, then all you have to do is subscribe and put that bell notification on because no one is getting you further ahead on the most important twists and turns in crypto than this channel right here. With that said, let's dive in. Now, as we see here, Bitcoin is sagging a little bit right now, and that's not that big of a deal. It's just exploded a little bit up here. Hopefully, it'll flip that 52K into support, but I'm expecting a little bit of volatility on the horizon because we've just seen a massive explosion in open interest and leverage. Leverage is the rocket fuel up as well as down, essentially creating long and or short squeezes. But what we need to know here is that in the meantime, while Bitcoin is taking a little breather, we're seeing protocols, some of our old friends here like Phantom taking off. And that's because the Phantom ecosystem is absolutely explosive. Now, I put my eyes on Phantom all the way back in August of last year at about three cents, and it has absolutely crushed it ever since. I have the privilege of knowing some Phantom team members, and they are truly, truly brilliant. Now, Phantom and AVAX are the two ecosystems that I believe will have a magnificent alt season here. But of course, you already know about Cardano. You already know about Polkadot. You already know about BSC. You already know about Polygon. Those are the bigger ecosystems. I believe, however, Phantom and AVAX are the little bit of lower cap, higher risk, higher reward plays here. I've been talking about Phantom a long time, but specifically the Phantom ecosystem and the AVAX ecosystems, I believe will perform really well during this Q4 period. Just know right now what's happening is that big money is piling into Bitcoin and Ethereum and the majors. And as that starts to happen, it will create a big explosion. My guess is that the huge catalyst will be a Bitcoin ETF sometime in this October, early November period. And then we will see the massive flood of liquidity into Bitcoin. And then once that train starts running out of gas, we will see a total eruption throughout the altcoins and that will cascade throughout Q4. Eventually we'll get a blow off top in Bitcoin and we will see altcoins peak. That is what I think is going to happen. Let's go a little bit deeper here and I'll show you a little bit of the reasons and the specific areas of crypto I'm looking at. Once again, back on my blog, we see that bridge protocols are on the rise. Remember, I did a whole video here explaining how bridge protocols are totally key to this interchain future. You can think of them as the actual passport checks between all of these very, very important L1 protocols. You have the L1s, the bridges. Those are really, really important DeFi primitives here. So what do we see here? With the rise of different L1s and L2 ecosystems in the last months, we've seen bridge protocols like AnySwap. Remember, I was talking about AnySwap literally last Last year and it has just gone absolutely crazy or as one of my researchers has put in here exactly as predicted anyway at the risk of becoming a little bit of a meme here I'm just very very happy about the consistent directional calls this channel has made the thesis based calls that this channel has made way before these changes take place in the ecosystem getting ahead of some of the biggest trends like bridge protocols here and this is what fundamentals based investing should look like any's price has been rising hand in hand with the protocol's fast growing volume and TVL. I identified AnySwap as a key bridge protocol several months ago. And so if you were a part of that, or if you did take a swing at AnySwap or started farming on AnySwap, you are in really good shape as that protocol's chart has looked absolutely staggeringly good here over the last few weeks. What we see here is that Andre Cronier is saying $1 billion in 24 hour volume, AnySwap.net. This is obviously part of that phantom YFI Andre Cronier umbrella here. And so he's got his fingerprints all over this. And that's when I started really taking this seriously when AnySwap came under the phantom umbrella. And look at this ecosystem explosion. We see TVL growth almost triple over the last few weeks here. And if we look back here, you can see this $3 billion to $6 billion spike is just a huge, huge uh, cherry on the top of this slow grind upwards that we've been calling attention to for quite some time. So after being in the shadow of Solana and Avalanche, now phantom continues its massive gain. And of course, now the three ecosystems that'll probably deliver the most outsized gains throughout the 
rest of the year are right here. Solana, Avalanche, and Phantom. In my opinion, obviously there's hope for other ecosystems, but these are where I think the biggest gains will come from. And we've also seen a massive pump from Phantom in response. Uh, we also see Phantom ecosystem projects like Popsicle and Spirit Swap, Ice and Spirit, having really, really nice days here, 20 plus percent here. But of course, one of the stories of the day is the meme token revival. Now, meme tokens are like an index on FOMO, in my opinion, and that they start to pump when newer, less experienced audiences get in. They buy a coin that maybe they identify with personally, maybe they think is cute or interesting like Doge. Then we have SHIB. We have all the dog coins starting to really come out in full flex with SHIB having a crazy, crazy pump the other day, almost 100% pump. What that means to me is that younger new retail money is FOMOing in once again as the market has started to become more healthy. The people who got totally wrecked on the last cycle, they're coming back for more. And so just know as memes pump, that shows that the froth in the ecosystem is starting to bubble over. Remember, this is how it goes. You get large caps, then you get mid caps, then you get low caps and memes. Those are sort of the flows. Now, one more dynamic that we'll talk about at the end is NFTs. And I'll tell you how I'm planning to play NFTs once again, because I think I've been almost dead on in how I've been allocating funds back and forth between fungible and non-fungible markets. But let's get to this. But I want to be clear here. I made a video yesterday. I'm sure a lot of people didn't like this saying there could be a crash before the moon times. And people hate when I point out that there could be a negative thing before the positive thing. But I'm just trying to prepare you psychologically. You don't even have to do anything as long as you don't panic sell. I think that that's the right way forward. Again, I could be wrong. Maybe panic selling will be the smartest thing you ever do. It's never worked out for me. I've rarely ever seen anyone be happy about a panic sell. But if we get a leverage wash and a crash below 50K, everyone's going to think, wow, this was some big fake out. Sell it all, sell it all. And once again, this could be another leverage wash. It's important to realize that the futures perp funding for Bitcoin has spiked this morning back to early September levels with open interest also remaining elevated. It seems a few smooth brains have taken leverage long positions, making them vulnerable to disagreements in price. Stay on your toes. This is key. This is what I'm talking about here, which is as people get more and more comfortable with the price going up, they start leveraging their bets up and that creates some downward pressure if there is a bit of a fluctuation down. And who loves to steal your coins more than the big whales that can create those one to 2% fluctuations? that can totally create a cascading leverage collapse. That's what happened in September. That's what happened in May. And just know it's probably going to keep happening. So as leverage goes up, just know that that makes the whole ecosystem vulnerable to a temporary flash crash. Now, there's also some big whales taking profits here. This was another thing that we haven't really seen for a while. You see this green line here um, for the first time in quite a while, really veering down. But I believe this is a temporary sell-off where people are taking profits. Maybe these big whales know something about a temporary leverage wash coming, the sort of last moment of uncertainty before moon times in Q4. Again, that's how I'm seeing this. Again, this could be seen as a confirmation of the theory as well. But a lot of people think that crypto is already really big. They already think that Bitcoin's already really expensive and they don't understand how tiny it is compared to traditional markets. Here's a visualization for you of the global stock markets. And here is crypto, just a small fraction. And what you need to understand is that there is a velocity. When new money comes into Bitcoin, there's only a certain amount of Bitcoin being sold. And so as that new money comes in, it starts buying up the Bitcoin in price. As it does that, it tends to send the price up. And we all know about Bitcoin, there's a lot of hodlers who take their money off of the exchange. And so essentially the liquid supply of Bitcoin gets smaller and smaller over time, sending the price per coin way up. And so there is a multiplier effect on Bitcoin as well as all other cryptos, where it's estimated that for every $1 of new capital, about $25 to $50 of market cap are created. So if all of this market cap, which I do believe eventually comes into crypto, I believe it all gets tokenized in some way or another eventually. And what we're going to see is all this new capital is actually going to create multiple Duplicative exponential effects. I don't believe that 2 trillion just becomes 93 trillion over time. You don't add them together. I do believe that we will see hundreds of trillions, if not quadrillions in market cap by the time this tokenization takes effect. In my mind, the model is about 100x when industries go on to the blockchain. We've seen the growth from brick and mortar to internet, from web one to web two, from web two to web three. That's why I have a $10 trillion market value on the gaming industry here in NFT and crypto land, because I believe that the $100 billion market will 100x to 10 trillion. Now, I also believe that the entire crypto markets will see unheard of numbers that we couldn't have even fathom before because of the dark magic that is market caps. And that's the only way we really calculate the value of crypto right now. So understand that as this 
comes into this, I see both of these numbers becoming completely irrelevant. That's how early we are, and that's the perspective of the day. For massive green flags, we also have ZK rollups coming faster than expected to Ethereum. We have Starkware, which is one of the most interesting pieces of software, the backing for Immutable X, an amazing ZK rollup based NFT protocol coming to Ethereum. Again, I want all the ETH. I want it all, and that's why I'm very, very heavily invested into ETH based NFTs, which are making me astronomical returns in ETH terms. We also have Arbitrum and Optimism, two optimistic rollup layers, but the ZK rollups, the ZK rollups are, from a technological perspective, the holy grail of L2 scaling. These are the absolute best on the market, best in class, and so seeing Starkware being very excited to start their journey in January, this could be one of the biggest green flags for the Ethereum ecosystem. So ETH2, ZK rollups, optimistic rollups, as well as the NFT ecosystem just exploding. The value of the Ethereum network is honestly something that boggles the mind, and I believe it will remain the dominant force in DeFi and NFTs for the many years to come. Though that's not to say that you won't get awesome returns in Solana, that you won't get awesome returns in AVAX and Phantom, but obviously Phantom is also branding itself as sort of an L2 of sorts to Ethereum. It's its own L1, but it's designed to offload from Ethereum mainnet. So I consider Phantom even part of Ethereum. And finally, we want you to get ready for the first Polkadot dot mainnet crowd loans. These are going to be massive, massive events here. This is not just Kusama, which was the Canary Network, but this is Polkadot now. So the projects that end up securing these crowd loans will be massive, massive forces to reckon with in the crypto ecosystem. You have been warned. So once again, we see every inch that Bitcoin gives, the altcoins take a mile. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next with the altcoins throughout Q4. I believe it's going to be a monstrous quarter. There's a ton of risk in this ecosystem. So you got to do your own research here. Assume I could be wrong, but in my heart, I'm super excited. I'm super passionate about what's going to happen here in Q4. I'm planning to take a ton of profits once this altcoin season truly kicks off. And I'm definitely, definitely going to be buying blood at some point with all of these cash reserves in 2022. Let me know what you guys think about that strategy. Obviously, if we just continue to bull forever, then God bless the bull market. However, that's my strategy for Q4. I'm sticking to it. I hope you guys are having a happy and healthy day. If you are, smash that like button. If you've been learning and growing from the Elio Trades channel through NFT content, which we're now making the most daily actionable NFT. NFT content of any YouTube channel in the world. And I am very, very proud to continue to educate about this market and do daily, if not twice a day content, helping people understand the JPEG revolution. I'm also here to break down the best altcoin opportunities and help you understand and navigate this cycle like the back of your hand. So make sure you subscribe with that bell notification on if you want to be a part of this trip to Valhalla. As always, my name is Elio Trades. I'll see you very soon on the next episode. You can find me on Twitter at Elio Trades. Thank you and goodbye. 